Hello, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Well, the other day I walked across the street to the grocery store. I was just looking around. Well, it's not a grocery store. It's a convenience store. Gas station where you can just get beer, snacks, crap like that. Um, but it's not really extensively populated with a lot of things. But they had a little hardware section where besides the motor oil and everything else, they had these padlocks. And uh, it's kind of a strange... It's a disc detainer padlock, 40 millimeter. And the packaging on this one is pretty weird because it just says TW padlock. It has a little um, outline of the state of Texas. And nowhere does it say that it was made in China, but it is. Um, and then this weird. It gives you all these little dimensions. A, B, C, D, E, F. But no numbers to correspond with that. I looked. It's just like a one-sided thing. It's not like a separate little package that tells you anything else. And then it has weird warnings on it. Warning. Using hand tools can be dangerous. Well, yeah. I guess using chopsticks could be dangerous too. Always take care and keep away from children. What? The padlock? This package? Hand tools? What? Wear protective eyewear in work area at all times. Okay, yeah. All right. Yeah, that tells me a lot about this padlock. So we've got that. Well, disc detainers are a different kind of animal. Um, they're a locking mechanism. And they wouldn't be bad to have as a... Sorry, I dropped a pick. They wouldn't be bad to have as a, a lock. This is one here that I bought before I knew that these things... This one's only like $3.00. That's the best way to learn on these is the cheap ones. Because I got this one for like fifteen or ten dollars or whatever. And uh it's pretty beefy. It's like the American seven hundred or whatever, you know. It's you security. It's supposedly hardened and all that. But the problem is the way I got into this thing was with this little tiny common screwdriver. It's not even a beefy one. I just got in there, pink. Stuck it through this little hardened hole here, and uh, it just popped right out. This hole, this thing is kind of weird too. It's got a uh, let's see if I can get this guy to focus. It's got like a little split ring thing on it, and all that does is engage the a little channel in here to hold it in place. So they stick all the guts in. And what a disc detainer is, is it's all these little discs, and these are, that's the gate, and these are the little, the way you uh, set them in there. But they set in this, this is what it had inside of it, this is the actuator, plastic actuator. Oops, I just dropped that little piece. Oh man, I heard it go too. It really took off. Anyways, that other wing sits in there, and it and it leaves a little gap. The better ones are made out of brass, but I haven't torn a lot of these apart. Um, but this little rod right here sits on the wafer stacks, the disc stacks that are in here. And when it's aligned just right, this little rod will come in fall into the whole unit and allow the unit to turn because in here is a little groove that it normally sits in and that's what locks it and that's why some people say you know use gravity like use that drain hole to help the bar fall down um anyways they're so cheap that's my only complaint about them and this one's got the same Kind of core. I'm not going to pop it loose because I, you know, already know what a disc detainer looks like. But I will try to pick it with this little Chinesium set here, and to uh, zero it. What I mean by zero it is these are the keys for this particular lock, and when they're in there. It frees up. See, it's got a ball bearing locking mechanism. That's pretty good. Can't be shimmed and stuff. And not everybody carries these disc detainer tools around with them. You know, even if a person's got a pick set with them, they probably don't have one of these on them. You know, everyday carry. I bet you don't have one of these in your pocket. 
and uh, run into one of these, you would you might be hard pressed. Now, I have picked these before without one of these tools, but you really have to figure out a way to tension that top disc. And that's another thing about this guy. I was looking for him. I can't find my damn washers. But uh, the first time I tried to pick this lock with this particular tool, you know, this guy's closed up. I take this Z-wrench because it's pretty thick. I stick it down here and I run them all to the right. Give them 90 degrees from there. And the reason why I'm doing that is because the way of the, the way the bidding is set up, if you look at it with the key set in like this, most of the other discs that are in there are in the neutral position or what you've already turned it to when you turn it like this. And so to manipulate it, you've only got to get one, two, three, four, five discs out of probably nine or, you know, however many they crammed in there of these different discs that you're trying to line through. Now, if you're used to single pin picking, I think things are weird. And uh, one of the problems you can have, with, particularly with this particular lock, if it's all beveled and nice and you put it all the way in there, if you put that sucker flush like that, you're never going to get this lock open because the second disc needs to be manipulated. So this is where a washer, I was just going to put a regular washer over here to give me some distance. But what I usually do is I set up and I get on the, the first disc and it's kind of precarious. Um, I'm just looking at that gap right there. Now this tool could be improved, you know, with like another sleeve here to help guide this. But uh, it's just, a, like I said, a little cheap one. And if you're used to single pin picking, this is entirely different. You want to use like medium tension on this. You're pushing down one way with your thumb. You're pushing up and this way you're pushing down. And um, you really don't know where you're at on this. You just pull it all the way out. Some people go all the way to the bottom and start. I start with the top a lot of times just to, because I want to find that first disc. And uh, I know uh, from picking it before that this first disc is important. It's got to be moved. If you're too far down, you're not going to get it. And then I just kind of rotate them, and it's real gritty. Um, it has set screws on either side of these. You're probably going to need them a lot of times because you're, you're just encountering a lot of... Uh, grittiness it's just it's just a really weird way of picking but uh, it's a different lock like i said it's something different and uh, it's pretty cheap like i said three dollars that's not bad man for a lock um and this this detainer pick is only like about five dollars or so on on uh, banggood or aliexpress or whatever probably even got them on amazon um I kind of use that set screw as a, an idea of where I'm at. And this can take a while. I mean, like I said, if it wasn't so damn easy to bypass, uh, these things would be halfway decent medium security type of locks, you know? I mean, they're not going to resist bolt cutters and die grinders and stuff like that. But for most applications, they would, they would be pretty good uh, because, like I said, nobody really carries one of these damn tools around with them and no burglar is going to take a, this amount of time to mess around with the lock but i found it can sometimes i can get into this guy fairly quickly and other times i can just sit there and fiddle and fiddle with it um it's the problem is the feel man that the discs are real lumpy and gritty and you don't really know if you're if you're in the gate or not now sometimes when you when you're turning it and it gets in the gate you'll you'll get a slight turn on the core You'll feel it, you know, like, all right, I set somebody, you know. Um, but I'll, I'll just sit there and manipulate them uh, back and forth, trying to feel, did that clunk, you know, feel like uh, it was in a gate? Or does that feel like something happened? Um, naturally, some of them are not going to give you anything because you're already... You're already set, and as far as like feeling for binders and everything, I don't really, I don't really do that because, like I said, this thing's not that precise. You really don't know what, whatever you're on. If you get, if you start to turn, you feel it. I just manipulate that, that disc through the range of motion that I can get it to go, and then uh, I go on to the next one. It, 
wherever it feels like it sets in. It's kind of really hard to describe uh, picking these things. And like I said, just a little tiny lock like this can take you a while uh, to get into them. It's, sometimes I get it just right. And this pick I have not modified as far as like, I filed down the tip a little bit. I think it's even crooked on the on the shaft for me playing around with it so much. But it can take a while. Like I said, I, ho I was hoping it would, I could get this guy quickly, but... And getting between the different discs, if you've got one set, it's going to be at an angle. If I get this guy open, I'll show you. Because you can't really show, you can't really show the, the discs the way they're stacked unless you pick it. Um, because it's key retaining. So when you open it, the key stays in there. And when you pull it out, it realigns them all back to zero. So you really can't see what the... Uh, different discs look like until you pick it open there we go I got it what I mean by that is you see how those guys are that's what you're manipulating you're going this way and that way and this way and that way and then eventually you'll get it um, but like I said it's really gritty it's really it's, they're they're cheaply made this one's probably also got a plastic core like that and if it wasn't for the fact that once you pop this out, man, you can just you get this guy open with the screwdriver that you use to pull that open. You just turn the actuator and guts fall out. One dead lock, you know. So there you go. That's a little um, disc detainer story there. Um, they're not too bad. Some of them have um, warding on them. Like this one, it's got a little cut on it, so it would make this this one difficult to get to. But all you got to do is um, loosen up the set screws on this thing, take this little thing out, and then just take a, a Dremel tool or a file and make a little notch in there so that it'll fit whatever you're running into. But this one didn't have it. The biggest thing was, uh, as you can see, the second disc right over there. Let me see if this guy will zoom. the second disc has to be manipulated and if you go too far in if you're tensioning and you're hitting both of them you're going to catch that first lip right down there you're not going to let it come this way and the lock won't open so that's why when i first got it i was like man but now it's, it's a good one to sit there and um, so what i do to close it again you go all the way in push it all the way in i turn uh, the disc all the way back where it's like that, it's locked. And then to pick it, I just tension them right back like that. And then you're all set to attempt to attack each one of those little discs. They're kind of fun. It's different. If you get bored of them. Um, um, and the thing is, they're not using any springs. You know, there's no springs in here. It's fairly cheap to make. Um, it's resistant to dust and crap like that, you know, because... Um, there are no springs to get fouled up, and you're just dealing with a little, um, a little bar, you know, that sits up in here, and won't allow it to turn when the when there's no clearance for it. But when all those discs are lined up in those cutouts, this bar can come back, and that allows the core to turn, the little plug to turn. So there you go, just a little quickie on disc detainers. Um, if you ever want to try them. Um, Get yourself one of these take a little file and keep them from being too thick but they're just like spot welded on and stuff i don't know silver soldered on they're they're fairly fragile i mean not real fragile but you don't want to abuse them too much and they're fairly cheap um but yeah something different so thanks for watching and happy picking everyone